welcome to another property vlogs tour today we are going to show you a five bedroom three bathroom property it's got lots of unique architectural features which i can't wait to show you so let's do the stats it's five bedroom three bathroom the floor area is 2,637 square feet and it's on sale for approximately £800,000. If that sounds good to you, stay tuned and we'll tour the entire property and we'll look inside. When you come straight into the property, you're going to notice that you're, I think there's lots of natural light. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. You've got the glazing panels beside the front door. And then obviously you come into this um, hallway, which has a feature staircase with these iron um, details. I said iron, but I don't know what metal it is. Metal details here. And then you have spotlights, recessed spotlights in the ceiling. And then the first room we're going to go through is this room on the right. So if you go into this room, you've got a lounge. Well, it's staged as a lounge and I think it would be used as a family lounge. Um, this room has a generous sized window on your right, my left. And that brings in a lot of natural light and you can look at the front driveway as well from that. Um, at, which means that you can kind of look at your vehicle and keep an eye on things at the front of the property. And then you can just see the size of this room is actually quite generous. Um, at the moment it's staged with two love seats there, but I can imagine an L-shaped sofa um, fitting that area. You can have a little reading nook there if you wanted as well. And then this leads, well, actually, before we leave the space, I wanted to talk about the these doors, which are kind of, I don't think they're bifolding doors, but they're um, retractable, not retractable. We'll just call them bifolds there. They're um, kind of floor to ceiling glazed doors, which allow you to look from this lounge space into this area. And Brian, I just want to show you this area. And if we can just point out the fact that you've just come into this grand open kitchen, um, open plan concept. Um, first things first, there is a change in the level. So there is like a split level um, living concept as well. So I don't want to get too distracted. We'll save that for now and then we'll go into this space. So this space over here is your kind of your additional downstairs bedroom. So if you come into here, going to show you you're kind of welcomed into a corridor and the first room over here is your first double bedroom and again you can just see the size of the bedroom is generous currently staged with a double but I know it can probably fit a super king size bed um you've got I don't know if you want to come as well 
Um, so you've got a window at the front of the property and that basically shines in natural light again into this room. You've got also another small window there and I didn't notice this before but there's actually a little sink so I think the idea is that maybe you can this room can be self-contained. Anyway, coming into this space, you've got a Jack and Jill slash ensuite bathroom. And I think that's why there's a small sink in that room, because there is a potential to close this off. And then you have this room on its own. And then this bathroom then is used by that room. So if you come into this space, you're gonna notice you've got a bathtub, a shower, a sink, and a toilet, and a little window letting in natural light. You've got recessed spotlights as well, and tiling, just beautiful tiling on the floor. And I just noticed, Brian, all of this is like textured tiling from the floor to the ceiling. I don't wanna guess the manufacturer of this tiler, uh, that's tiling but it, it is really good high quality you've got your rain head shower as well um, it's quite a nicely sized shower and then moving on we've got a little area where you would get ready it's like a dressing area so that leads on from that uh, Jack and Jill bathroom and then that also then leads on into this bedroom again I want to point out you've got dual aspects so a small window to the side of the property You've got a large window at the back of the property, which looks at your garden. So if I just show you that, yep, it's a really nicely sized garden. And that brings in so much natural light into this space. And then, so um, a couple of things about this property is there's underfloor heating to the whole ground floor. And then you've got, in these rooms, you've got your um, data ports as well on the wall. So that's where your TV would go. It's currently staged as a bedroom, but it probably could fit a, um, it could be a, a mini lounge if you wanted it to be. Um, you can use the spaces however you see fit. So coming back into the central corridor, I'm gonna let you through. Now we're gonna go into the space. Now we're gonna go into the feature of the home, which I believe is this one. Um, it's the open plan living space. So as you walk down into this space, I'm gonna give you some time to just pan around. So coming into this room, we've got our open plan generous space. Um, so the main features of this space is obviously the tall floor to ceiling heights and the quality of the fixtures in this space. As you can see, there is what looks to me to be a natural stone worktop, but it's crushed as well. So it's um, probably quartz, but if you know what it is, please, um, uh, you know let me know and then the cabinets are this dark blue um, semi I think they're like satin as well but they've got a j-pole handle to each one and soft closes it looks like that's pretty cool and one of the other features is this amazing corner glazing it really shows off the full height of the space and if I had to guess, I would probably say this is about three meters. And so during the hot days, you'd obviously pull the door open and then you'd be able to open onto this raised deck, which then goes to your garden. Yeah. So what we're going to talk about next is just the fixtures in the kitchen. Um, you've got your um, the sink has actually been integrated into the worktop. So this is all prefabricated and brought in. So you have the water goes, um, the kind of the, I don't know what they're called. The grooves are done into the stone worktop and this has been carried up. So you have this upstand and also the sills have been done in the same material, which I think is a fantastic touch. You've got a window right in front of your sink. So when you're doing washing up, you can look at the garden. Again, that brings in so much natural light. The kitchen hob as well. It's electric kitchen hob with an extractor above. You've got ample storage and then you've got your double ovens as well there on the wall. You've got a double fridge freezer there. I'll just show you. It's what your fridge freezer would look like. And your freezer, I believe, is in the bottom. So they have these cool little handle details. And there is one last feature here. I think it's that um, bar over there, which essentially is a mobile bar. You can move this around like this. And then this lives in this area here. And when you have a party and you're entertaining, you can move it around and you can just imagine what the space can be used for in the future. Um, before we move from the space, I can already spot you've got some inbuilt speakers. 
that's quite unusual and then you've got your recess spotlights and a lantern roof light there so yeah that pretty much concludes this downstairs open plan space and um, yeah let's move on to the next ones <laughs> And now we're back in the hallway and um, you've got a storage cupboard on the on your left and that door leads you to the garage which um, I think I read on the website has a automatic garage door which is quite useful this is your utility room so if you're coming into this room this cupboard is where you have your services so I'll just show you really quickly you've got your water storage tank and your underfloor heating manifolds in that section and it's nicely discreetly tucked away from the area and then obviously you've got your utility so if you have pets this is where you'd obviously um, store all the equipment and you know you yeah like if you have pets I was actually saying that because there, you sometimes there's like a dog shower in that corner but there isn't one but that's where your boiler is you've got a window bringing in natural light and then going back into this room this is now another bedroom area. Um, this is where your downstairs toilet would be. And it's a shower room actually. So you can see the size of the shower is quite, um, quite big. It's an electric shower as well with recessed spotlights. So a three piece suite. And then coming back into this hallway. Oh, another thing is that these doors are quite, um, I think they're, they suit this property. You know, normally we have this contemporary details, but this is a bit more traditional with like oak as well, letting the colour of the oak shine through. And then coming into this area, we've got a, well, it's staged as like a lounge, but it is a bedroom. And you can use it as a home office if you're working from home or um, a living room like it's currently staged. It's up to you really. And the best part of this room is that you actually have the ability to have connection with the outside through the double doors. So I think that pretty much concludes the ground floor. And I'm gonna show you what's going on on the first floor. So if you could follow me. We've got this sort of winding staircase. And then when you get to the top of the first floor, you have the roof light and a little landing um, here. The first room on our right is a bedroom with a view at the front and roof lights at the back. It's also nicely sized. For a room that's actually within the roof, it's actually got quite decent proportions in terms of the head height. And another thing is that this property um, already has painted walls, so you don't have to worry too much about decorations. It's been done and carpeted floors, so everything as you see it comes with it, apart from the furniture that's downstairs. So it's coming into this ensuite area. We've got a fully tiled shower enclosure, as you would expect. So if you look at that area really quickly, um, and then you've got your extract fan, your roof light on that side and a towel rail. So coming back out of that, we're back in the bedroom. And then the final room in this property is this here, which is the principal or primary bedroom. And you can see here, this is what you would have your double bed, well, it could probably fit a super king or bigger. It's quite spacious. They've thought about the sockets. And then, you know, obviously when you're lying in bed, you've got your low level sockets to turn off the lights. There's no bulb, so you can't even test it. And then you've got, and then you've got a dual aspect uh, view, one overlooking your garden. And from here, you can see your roof, which um, has a warranty on it as well. Uh, it comes with a property. You can see your roof lantern and there's minimal there's practically no overlooking over your garden. You have views of the countryside, which is just really unique and a nice feature to have. The ceiling height, you do not feel like you're in a cramped roof at all. And then you've got another window on this side, which is the front of your property. And over this side, obviously you can look at the streets, you can see what's happening and you can see, overlook your driveway, which is good for surveillance. And then also, Another thing you've got is the ensuite to the principal bedroom. Um, this is a three piece ensuite. 
Um, it's got a shower enclosure there as well, fully tiled, and a towel rail and a toilet. It's a little bit smaller than the other one, but the actual shape of it is probably a lot more practical. So with that being said, I believe that pretty much Guys, as you saw, that was a five bedroom, three bathroom property with lots of unique features. The property size is 2,637 square feet. Like I said, it's on sale at the moment for £800,000. If you like the look of these type of unique luxury properties, stay tuned, watch our next video, like, comment and subscribe. Bye.